um, infamous to get here in the finals for the playoffs in the uh, sorry finals for the open qualifiers out of South America. Yep. Ooh, we got Leo style in the chat right into now. These uh, earlier levels, so it's a couple right clicks off onto him here. Mini KXY uh, down to below 300 HP already, but even with just the three points across, especially if he's sitting underneath his tower, 6.5 regen a second. No tango's active uh, just yet either, so you drop the branch at any given time or just walk back to the tree and get even more. It's a struggle. Bottom lane, uh, Whisper's life made slightly more... This Ooh. might be first blood. Schofield goes in just a little bit too far. Benny and Nuaga is doing some work, opening up first blood for themselves, going to the Sven, the absolute best possible scenario here. Yeah, Nuaga is good token it, but uh, he turned around and let him finish that one off there. And uh, Sven, did you just carry heading out to him? Yeah, he's got a magic stick complete. I think he'll send himself out a bracer to just deal with some of the harass here from Whisper or a possible return. Do you go Bracer or do you just pick up Boots? Uh, I think you go Bracer here. Oh, he goes Belt of Strength. Same idea. Yeah. Okay, I, I like... I think we we were both kind of re leaning towards the same thing. I think he does want early treads here. Yep. And uh, so the Belt of Strength gives him that extra strength. A little it's bit of... World. A little bit of health, yeah. Very As nice. a girl Miley would say. You a fan? Of what? Miley. <laughs> uh, who's that? I see. <laughs> then uh, we'll work on the popular culture, and you'll work on uh, getting me familiar with Twitch chat, so I yes. can interact with the audience. Yes, yes, yes. If there's one thing I do not know, it is it is uh, pop culture. Mm. I absorb that shit. <laughs> Take that as an IV. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dive bottom lane. They find the winter wyvern. Some good harassment coming out. Stomp off the marks. Go field should be able to just flap his wings away. Nuages does have these uh, fire spirits onto that centaur, so he has no way to secure that kill. Both heroes falling pretty low, but they're going to be fine. Top lane, though. Some more dueling coming out. Hain took a lot of damage salving up in the trees, though. In fact, uh, Stinger's going to do that as well. Pops back up to full HP. He's got no mana to work with, so he just kind of exists here in the lane. He's going to need to send himself out a uh, little bit of mana regen. He might have just been better off walking back to base from the fact he got a win nice. I think he's waiting for Boots to speed. Wants them at four minutes so he can help contest the rune. But we'll see if uh, it even ends up coming out. Benny, I think wishing that he did have those Boots to speed is Scopio plays with him with his own Boots here. We'll be able to do a decent chunk of damage. They have dive available. Schofield trying to keep himself up on the high ground, but Nuages can chase. Another fire spirit. This one off the mark. He is going to find a courier, though. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's all ranged creep and the catapult. Mid lane, a dive onto KXY. Three heroes here. The tag team. So much damage coming out, and now Schofield TPs in. He's got to be careful, but so does Mini. Nuage is taking some tower shots, throws a fire spirit, and it'll drop that aggro onto that creep. Your courier, though, sir. Oof. Prismatic trick. One of my favorites. A shame to see it go down. 50 gold for everyone on the. Uh, oh, this... what a prediction from Mini! He's gonna get Schofield. Wow, that was a sick remnant. And that's two kills going his way, even though he does end up losing the curry. He sends himself without another Null Talisman. Finds an Invis rune as well, so things just and a keep ward. getting better. Oh my god, KXY didn't manage to get the denial on that one off. Happened right in front of him. So much gold going the way of many. Let's see him on this network with charge. Show the people here, Jerry. Uh, he's actually third. Oh, okay, that's not amazing. <laughs> huh. It's all right. Sven having a fantastic time, though. Benny. Level six now using God Strength to farm the wave. Juggernaut, top net worth. Uh, it's Tomato, dude. I feel like that's just what happens. He's going to just go ahead and play really aggressive now onto Lestrax since he has that Omni Slash. Blade Fury, Telekinesis is there, but you don't want to Omni him next to the Creep Wave. There's going to be a nice Snowball. He's going to pull him over to the Creep Wave, though. Tornado off the mark. Cold Snap, the EMP coming out. They will be able to find the Tusk's mana, but he has nothing left. Singer's just dead. TP in from Mini. They're going to be able to try and chase this. There's a healing ward on the high ground doing some serious work. Tomato just playing around it, but now they have the vision. They're able to get him. He does have the Omni Slash. If he can get it off in time, he does. It goes on over to Hain, and down goes the Tusk. Blade Fury's out. Tomato survives through it all. Oh my goodness.
they just can't bring this man down. He's too good. Master, uh, sorry, more than master that I thought was flying out to him, but just had the javelin queued up, and he just gets out. I mean, that healing warrior of the high god. <laughs> I need to run back to the trees. Okay, XY might not be done. They do scan. They know he's here. He's going to scout with his courier. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, Phoenix, he's trying to make space. He's running away. Stomp off the mark. Uh, they will be able to catch the Phoenix now as he goes for the dive out. The tornado will catch. Winter Wyvern went down as a result of this uh, dive. And, you know, Winter Wyvern sitting in the mid lane. Uh, wait, how did he get down here? There is little hope for Dyer's middle tower. Unclear? Unclear to me as well. Invoker coming top now looking for Hain. I mean, this is what you want to be doing. KXY Invoker. Telekinesis definitely going to stop this TP out. And KXY is here. There's the cold snap, the EMP as well. And uh, Stampede coming through, making them very quick. Trying to give space for Sting of the Tornado. Going to catch both. Really sick Tornado there from KXY. The positioning just perfect. Schofield sets up a beautiful Splinter Blast off the creeps there. And they'll be able to keep chasing. One more Urn Charge available. Cold Snap in two. You definitely use them both so you get two more charges. Well, not just Sven, but also Hain. I mean, he's able yeah, to take... And Mini, right? They can take all of these. Yep. Oh, my goodness. Yep, here it goes. Two double stacks just going to go the way of Lashrak. Tornado, the EMP, again dodged by the Tusk, and now all the creeps are gone. Okay. Well, very happy to be Lashrak right now. Don't be that they already had all of theirs. Uh, yeah, Mushrak holding on to his ocean art. Some action uh, about to break out over here. All right. I mean, Centaur goes down on the backside. I thought they were going to continue fighting here in the center. An egg immediately, but that is just super gone. Tornado EMP onto the Sven. It will catch. He takes down the tower, but Omni Slash, he goes down as well. Ma on the backside. Deafening Blast doing some serious damage. One more auto attack from KXY. They take down three, looking for more mini. Dissimilate up onto the low ground instead. Nice juke out from there, but they're going to keep chasing Stinger using that lightning storm to slow him down. This cold snap. Not going to be able to find him. You're going to find another courier. Void Spirit afraid to move it forward. They're pinging him out. Mini. We'll go ahead and grab it. Now Ma as well. He has dust. He can pop it onto the invoker. KXY is in some serious trouble. Does get a nice deafening blast off. Tornado. It's not going to be used, but a huge Winter's Curse. He's gonna be able to take down the Tusk immediately. An egg on the high ground, but no one here to <laughs> offer some assistance. KXY, he's just gonna get stunned down in the, the Lush Rack here as well. Gonna grab him, easily set up, and uh, Stinger inside the Roche Pit being melted. Astral steps away. Dude, Stinger in this fight has just been seriously sick because he stole an egg as well. I don't know and how he stunned people, and then the Phoenix egg went off and stunned people. Yeah. I think it might be possible if uh the egg pops when he's beside a target stun they catch the shrack a nice snowball but it's gonna send them back to whisper tomato here with the omni slash just gonna go through a yules will be able to open up a lot of that damage so now hayne trying to run away still doing what he can but kxy and tomato will be able to finish off tornado catching that tusk benny on the backside with mini a stun he walks right into it and the emp oh my god triple kill for tomato he's gonna keep going through the alacrity doing some serious work a huge winter's curse four down about to be five a fantastic fight here from beast coast as they just clean up the side of jaguares Tomato with the ultra kill, and just like that, only a thousand gold away from his uh, egg and scepter. This game is looking so incredibly difficult all of a sudden. Farming up the creep camp, so now he's able to gap the distance, and things are even easier for him. Snowballs are gonna have to come out very quickly in order to stop him blowing people up with his Omni Slash. It's got a slightly further cast range this Swift Slash, I believe. The Dire, I mean, they're looking for the jungle here. They're gonna walk right into Ma. The Swift Slash comes out. Snowball is there. Stampede. Backside Benny will be able to stun up Whisper, but the Tornado is going to fin finish off the Tusk, and now they're looking for more. They don't have any vision here uh, until they... Have, I mean, they have vision on the deep side of the jungle, but no one else, and Benny and Nuagis will be able to escape. This just opens up Roshan. Yeah, and it gets cleared up so quickly cool with this Alacrity and Berserk. Actually, Roshan with the, the Bash is slowing down Tomato just a little bit, but I'm not sure they have time to respond to this one. They do have good uh, ability to take the team fights around the pit with the Phoenix Egg, uh, the Sven, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to get there in time. All right, Stormhammer on in. That's the Aghanim Scepter. Goodbye, Winter Wyvern. 
Egg here on the high ground as well. KXY gonna try and turn it on. Does he have the attack speed? The stun comes in. They don't. The egg's gonna pop. The Omni Slash doesn't manage to finish off Benny, but finally, the Sunray. Benny's staying alive. He has to TP out. Oh my goodness. What an amazing fight here from Jaguar as they turn it around completely. KXY trying to do what he can. The Spirit Vessel's onto Benny. He's running for his life, but he's gonna be able to survive this. Finds a DD rune to boot, and he's gonna walk right back into the pit, grab himself in. Being assistance to the rest of his team. He's rushing a four staff. He's got a spirit bezel on him. You see some invokers, they go with solar crest, so I think he'll just enable his Snowball onto the Winter Wyvern, but he keeps himself alive. A Stampede keeps them some space, but Winter Wyvern goes down, chopped by the Sven. Deafening Blast on the backside, but they're gonna be able to continue this chase. Tomato forced to Blade Fury and run. Two big kills again. For the side of Jaguars, I mean, they're just getting the openings okay, in. They commit onto him, but he's got the Aegis. They gotta wait for the timing. It's down in 15 seconds if they can get it. Benny, I think, knows as he's on the run. Stampede, Tornado is there. They really want to not kill the Sven. They're waiting it out, but do they have it? The regen hasn't kicked in quite yet. Both teams calculating the time. It's gonna be soon. Any moment, Tomato trying to get in range. There's the Aegis that gets claimed, but he's getting a full health and mana. They're ready to re-engage. You lose the Phoenix. Ma Snowball doing what he can backside of the fight. Hain will take down the Rubik. Do they have the f oh he gets the blink off Schofield. Not gonna let it go. Ha not gonna let it happen. Gets the winner's curse. Tomato will take down Ma on the test. Blink forward. Nice hoof stomp. Okay, Beast Coast showing some signs of life here. Yep. <laughs> Done messing around there. There's a beautiful timing by them. You can see uh Benny for, second for the centaur next to that thing. That's pretty nice. You need, uh, you need Phoenix or Leshrac to deal with that one, probably. Ooh, who did they find? It's gonna be the Juggernaut. He gets the Blade Fury off at the last moment. The BKB is there. Tomato running for his life with the Blade Fury movement speed. He gets forced to have to cross the cliff. He's gonna survive. Oh my goodness. But the Blink Bait by Whisper as well, Sven. Gets caught. Is he gonna steal anything? There's going to be a nice reinitiation. Benny just getting shredded. They will to take down one. The egg's gonna pop, but only stuns the invoker. And now he just comes down on that void spirit, just gets crushed. The bashes are there from Tomato, and this Blade Fury movement speed is giving him so much mobility. Nuaga is able to TP out in the trees. Gives him a little bit of time, but the spend just couldn't get his hands on anybody there. That Blade Fury movement speed was amazing. Tuska, you know, we can throw the snowball out, but it barely ended up connecting, and he was uh, immune to the snowball stun after that, so no walrus punch. And KXY, that four staff, incredibly useful. If he didn't, uh, like, push him through uh, that creep camp right there to the other side in the mid lane, I think Juggernaut just would have gone down, they'd lose that fight. Oh, absolutely. He would have been completely by himself. I mean, you could stampede on the centaur, but uh, I don't know how you'd get out. Beautiful. First lane of barracks down. 30 seconds still on the Sven. He has no god strength. Does have BKB, but not ideal to fight without it. You, Omni Slash and Swift Slash, of course, off cooldown. Getting so much damage out of this Alacrity as well. Rubik slowly walking his way back down here. But it looks like they're going to settle for one lane of barracks. Nice way. Point. Jaguars, they're going to need to find some for themselves. They want to be able to take another fight against Beast Coast. All right, Telekinesis, he's managed to catch the Void Spirit. Is there any follow-up, though? They gotta be careful. Tomato, he just got an Abyssal Blade. There's gonna be a nice assembly to the low ground Maw. He's just gonna go right into it, and oh my god, the Aghanim Scepter from Whisper. They're able to just go up on the high ground. The Omni Slash, he gets on top of the Wyvern, though. Can they finish off Benny? He doesn't have a lot of health, but Juggernaut thrown into the air, has the Blade Fury. A second Yules comes out. He's got to do something. Sven reinitiates. They're going to go ahead, try and bring down this egg. Juggernaut, the easy connection there with that Blade Fury, but now it is uh, it is all she wrote is Benny is dead. You're going to be able to Swift Slash on over to Maul. Can he get the Bash? Trying to close the gap. Nice Remnant there from Mini Whisper in pursuit. Blink Dagger is broken. Does have the Abyssal Blade, though, and he will use it to close that gap onto the Void Spirit. A nice bash, or er, stomp as well. Four heroes dead. Beast Coast. Ah, taking these amazing team fights. Some great coordination coming out for them. Just keeping Sven juked up here. I mean, things did end up going a little bit in the way of uh, Tomato. The, or sorry, in the way of Sven, the start of that team fight. He ended up uh, stopping that Omni Slash with the Storm Bolt as he threw out and... Uh, hit his own hero, his fluid oh, people, yeah. but you throw the cold embrace into somebody and then disengage afterwards. Oh, <laughs> mid lane, a little too cocky here on Beast Coast. They get Rubik, but the damage reduction and that move speed will be able to get KXY out of there. They do lose the Void Spirit as a result in the top lane, though.
Yeah, that was uh, Centaur jumping on with a hoof stomp, and then of course the Abyssal Blade freshly completed on Tamano, taking it for a spin on him. Ooh, I hear God Strength. They're just gonna go for Schofield. Oh, not gonna. Oh, he gets the Cold Embrace off. He's gonna survive for at least a moment. The egg on the backside just immediately down because of Tomato. He's just close by. Omni Slash up in four seconds. Whisper, a huge stun. The Swift Slash, the Omni coming through as well. Ma, he's gonna die. Betty trying to run for his life. The Abyssal Blade on over to the track. The Storm Hammer. Can they chain stun the Juggernaut? He's gonna do what he can. Blade Fury for the movement speed ward on the high ground. Once again, we've seen it before. He has Swift Slash available. The Lotus Orb is there. The Storm Hammers. Can he survive? Tomato regenning so much AP. Feet. There's the swift slash. He's gonna be able to take down the Sven buyback immediately. What a sick play from this juggernaut once again. <sighs> Tomato just so good. These woods onto the high ground, regenerating 200 this HP. This guy second. is just crushing it. He's uh, just always on the map. As a satanic down as well. I mean, I, I'm not sure how you bring down the juggernaut at this point. He's uh, gonna Tomato, he's gonna find the Phoenix here. Swift slash, just three quick auto attacks, and now. Singer trying to get away. The Abyssal's gonna save him. Oh my goodness, Hain in some trouble. They do have a vi yeah, they have the sentry. They drop him. Sunstrike for good measure, but Stinger's gonna secure it. I mean, he he's trying to find something here on the Lashrak, but Rubik just playing so well today. And look who they have found, ladies and gentlemen. Another winner's curse put to good use. Uh, Swift Slash as well. Mini gonna be able to double Astral Step away. He's gonna survive. Can't quite catch him. Looks like that stampede uh, just activated a little bit too early there. <gasps> oh! KXY, dude, he's feeling himself. Uh, that was pretty clean right there. But you only have one Rax left right now. Benny, he feels struggling to do anything. He was forced to buy back his damage control for that last fight to stop them from shoving into their base. So, Roshan, this is going to be ages and cheese to them, and you just can't leave, but you can't give this up either. How do you bring down Juggernaut twice here? And the answer is I'm not sure you do. <laughs> They clear this up incredibly quickly. They're gonna try, they smoke up, but there's no way they get there in time. Look at how quickly Roshan drops. Now you've just put yourself out of position. You gotta get back now. You have Centaur Stampede in three seconds as well, which means you're gonna have all this damage reduction. You're gonna be able to re-engage. Winter Wyvern is dead. The Swift Slash, it manages to stun up the Phoenix of all people, and now Sven pops his BKB. The Omni Slash not gonna be able to stick on top of him, but they're gonna try and target down the Sven anyway. Schofield, he's, re he's alive. He came back, slowed up by that splinter blast the arctic burn as well double kill for tomato swift slash on over too many and they just call the gg they leave sven he wants nothing to do with this game first game of the series going on over to beast ghost an incredible performance by tomato on this juggernaut going down once but only really